Hey everybody, Karen here. Welcome back to Unpinned Creative. Time for me to get back into this making bitty hoods for you thing. It has been a while and I am a bit out of the habit. So I am going to try really hard to get back into the habit and start creating with you again. So I'm working on this e.l.f. journal, which if you've been following the Constructing a Journal from Scratch series, you will have seen me create it. Um, and I put it aside for quite a while while I was working on finishing some other things and um, I really want to get this finished now. So all I have been doing is prepping the pages and the signatures um, to get ready to sew into the spine. Um, and I have done all of them, I think, now except for one. So that's what I'm going to work on today, this last page, which is this one. So to me, prepping the pages means um, getting them ready to add tags and ephemera. So adding pockets and belly bands and tuck spots and all those sorts of things, doing stenciling, um, that sort of thing. So I do that first and then I go back and start again at the beginning and add all the bits of ephemera and stuff that I want to add. Um, but for the meantime, we're going to work on doing something with this page, which goes in the centre of the last signature. So I will pop that out of the way. So this is just a piece of a, a, a page from an atlas that has been coffee dyed or coffee stained. And um, I think I'll add some pockets to that. My desk is a mess. Um, most of it is off screen, thank goodness. <laughs> but basically for this whole um, journal, the prepping the pages, I've just used what I have around me. So I have a few boxes. Um, I have a use first box and in that goes any lace, ribbon or fabric scraps that I want to get used up. Um, and then I have a paper box with bits of um, paper, paper like this, which I've used as um, paper for inking on and doing stuff like that. Um, and any other bits of, and pieces of paper that I have lying around goes into that. I have my scrappy scraps box, which is smaller pieces of paper, offcuts like this from projects that I've been working on, they all go in there. And then I just have um, a couple of stamps and my ink that I'm using for this journal. And yeah, and then so my goal is to just grab from this stuff as much as I possibly can. And um, before I go into my wider range of supplies. All right, let's get onto this page. So I think for this, First page, so this is actually a cent the centre of a signature, so um, I want this bit to be like a double spread and quite interesting, hopefully. <laughs> um, but for this page, I think I'm going to use this as a um, half of a sheet of scrapbook paper, and I'm going to use half of that again. And then all I'm going to do is fold that on the diagonal. I am going to ink it up. So this is just the sponge that I've been using for doing the stenciling throughout this um, book. So it has plenty of ink on it, plenty enough just to take care of the white edges of this piece of paper. as well. So I love these tiny little um, blending sponges, they're makeup blending sponges for stenciling. They're um, really, really good at getting colour on the page and um, easy to use. 
Alrighty, so we have this. I'm going to make that a corner pocket. So it's a, I should have checked this before I inked it, but it's a wee bit big. So I need to cut that down a bit. Um, so I'm going to take a tiny bit off. This side and then I'll have to re-ink it and a tiny bit off the bottom. There we go. Now I better make sure that it fits. I should have done that before I read. Yep, that's much better. Okay, so this will be a pocket. This will open up, and you have journaling space here. And then I think we need something here. So I think I'm going to make another little pocket for a tag to go on there. And to do that, I will use this little scrap. Perfect. Pick It there and then we need something to jazz that up a bit so that's just a piece of a um, doily just a strip a scrappy strip and I think I will pop that on there I have been using these snowflake embellishment things. I got, I picked them up secondhand. I don't know where they've come from, um, but I'll pop one of those on there to jazz it up a bit more. And I might do some stamping on there. <clears throat> so I'm going to grab my letter stamps. My alphabet stamps. Um, I don't know where these came from. I was given them as a gift. And I think I'll just use black ink. Now I'm not looking for perfection with my stamping, 
so it will be wobbly and not lined up properly and I'm okay with that. We just want to fit all the letters on though. Nope. Okay. Well, that didn't work. So I'm going to take that off. just like so and I'm going to use this bit of the doily that I ripped off earlier I will pop that on there and I will choose a shorter word <laughs> This is generally how my journal making goes. <laughs> I don't measure stuff and then I have to redo it. And that's probably why it takes me so long to make these things. <laughs> yep. All right, a shorter word. Slay is not working. Um, I think we'll use jolly, but we'll use upper and lower case this time. So theoretically, it should be smaller. J. Jolly. Yep. And this is just to slip something small inside, so I'm not going to worry about um, making a gusset or anything like that for it. We just want a tiny little piece of ephemera to go in there. Alrighty. So I am going to glue down the two sides that are not folded. pop those on the page okay so we have a pocket there a little tiny tuck spot there journaling space here and just to make the inside a bit more interesting I'm going to pop a stamp on that no I'm not going to pop a stamp I'm going to do the stencil so throughout the book I have done this our footprint stencil which I also used for the cover of the journal um, so that can go on the inside of this so to do that I'm using two different colors I'm using a quite bright lime green color 
that I put down first. And then I'm using a blue over the top. And that gives me a kind of cool mottled kind of tealy green colour. like so. Okay, so that is the first bit. I'll leave this for the moment and let's do something on the back. I think for the back I'm just going to take some paint paper. So this is just baking paper. And I'm just going to stitch around that on my sewing machine. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Alrighty, so I just went around that about three times. Now I don't really like the ends of threads. Um, they tend to annoy me, so I'm snipping them off. Alright, and then that can be a journaling spot that would look quite cool with a black marker on top of it. Right, now for the centre. What shall we do in here? I'm going to take another piece of paint paper. So it's just baking paper. tear a rectangle kind of shape out of it and I'm going to fold that in half I think I'll have this side with the white texture paste on it actually so I'll fold it in half the other way I'm going to pop that in the centre and I'm just going to stitch across the top and the bottom. And then that is going to be a tuck on each side of that centre page. Okay. Snipping my threads. Now on this side, because the pop I had the pocket here, I had to be careful not to go over that pocket because it would have closed it up. And I don't not want to do that. So I stopped here, but I'm going to glue, put a little bit of glue under that just to keep that side of the pocket down better. Okay, so now when that is stitched in we will have um, two little tuck spots there. That open up flat like this because it's the center of the signature so I do want to pop something a bit more decoration on it let's see what I can find on my desk I have these two cute little deer things and I've used a few of these deer type pictures throughout the book so 
I will just fussy cut those out. Keep them joined together. Or unfussy cutting as I like to call it because I'm not very fussy about it. <laughs> so I don't use digitals in my journals. Um, I love digitals, don't get me wrong. I think they're really beautiful and there's some really amazing ones that you can get and they look gorgeous in a journal. But because I'm all about using up what you have and um, stuff like that, I prefer to use book pages. And the books that I get are all thrifted. Um, and often they come from the um, free bin outside of the op shop. So ones that aren't, aren't wanted anymore. Um, even, you know, even hard to sell in the op shops, so rather than sending them to landfill, I like to use them in my journals. Right, that needs something behind it. Uh, not that. Just a paper bag with some white printing on it. Funny when you haven't been filming for a while, you get out of the habit so quickly because it's only been a few weeks that I haven't been filming regularly, like every day, and you get so out of the habit of talking. <laughs> talking while you work. Yep, I think we'll just do that. So that's just a piece of serviette and a piece of brown paper bag and I will glue those down. I did have a pointy icing nib thing in my glue but what I was finding is I was squeezing so hard to get a to get it to come out um, you know quickly because I'm always in a rush that I kept popping the lid off my glue bottle and um, making a big mess so I've got rid of that again so I'll have to try and find a better, a better icing bottle to do that with I think um, in the meantime, just using my finger is messy, but works for me. We'll just fold that bit under.
here we go. Okay, so that is that page prepped and ready for finishing. So once that is stitched down, we have two little pocket or tucks there. We have a pocket here with journaling space and a tiny little tuck there and then journaling space on the back. So that's how I prepare a page and my signatures um, ready for adding ephemera to. And um, I think we'll leave it there for now. Sorry I haven't talked very much. Just getting back into the swing of it again. And um, hopefully you have gained some inspiration for using your scraps on your desk and um, I will see you in the next one.